So you had these three brothers, Mike, Kevin, and John. Now, Mike was the oldest and John was the youngest, but John was a little slow, you know, mentally challenged. So they was on their way out to go camping one night when the car broke down. Man, it started pouring down, raining and storming. They didn't know what to do. So they tried to sit in the car to wait it out a little bit, but the weather kept getting worse. So Mike was looking and he seen this little house with a light on. So they all got out the car. They went and knocked on the door. An old man answered the door. He was carrying a shotgun. So they was like, oh, my God. They're like, man, our car broke down. They explained the whole situation. He said, listen, I'll let you stay the night here one night. That's it. After that, you got to go. So as they was coming inside the house, he was giving them some blankets and everything, told them where their kitchen was and everything. He said, but listen, my granddaughter stays here. I seen y'all looking at the pictures when I was walking down the hallway. He said, she lives in that basement right there. That's why I keep her at, just in case stuff like this happens. Do not let me catch none of y'all in that basement, man, or you will die here tonight. And it was like, oh, no, we're not here for that. We just come here, man, to wait out the storm so we can go in and get out your hairs. He said, okay. So the old man went to bed. So Mike was in there. Mike was thanking because he's looking at the pictures. He said, man, that's a beautiful lady, man. He said, man, I'm going to try to go down there. Kevin said, heck no, man. What if that man got some kind of trap or something on that doggone um, basement or, or, or alarm or something? He said, man, I'm... right at that moment, the house cat came walking and it went down the basement. And you heard some say, the old man came running out. He kicked the dope. He said, God damn it, I knew one of y'all was going to try. Come on up. He said, who down there? The cat said, meow. He said, oh, that doggone cat, boy. Woo. Thought that was one of them boys. And he went back to his room and went and laid down. Mike looked at Kevin. Kevin said, no, man. Don't try that. Mike said, yeah, man. We go down there. If he hear us, just act like you the cat, bro. That got the word. Kevin said, man, I'm going to the room. So Mike went on and went down the basement. He was skipping stairs, trying not to step on the stair. He messed around and stepped on one of the stairs. The stairs say, eh. the old man ran, kicked up on the door. He said, who down there? I told you I knew it was one of y'all. Come on up. Mike said, meow. He said, oh, my God, this cat finna get on my nerves. And he went back to bed. Mike went down there, met the girl. They hung out, did their thing. He came back, told Kevin about it. Kevin said, man, you for real? He said, man, I'm telling you, man, just act like you the cat if he hear you. Man, Kevin went down that basement. He was doing the same thing, skipping stairs, trying not to step on the stair. He messed around and stepped on it. It squeaked. Eh! Old man came, kicked the door. He said, come on up. I know it's one of y'all now. Come on up. Who down there? Kevin said, meow. He said, oh, my God. He said, I'm getting rid of that cat tomorrow. That cat going to be outside. And he went to bed. Kevin went down there. He met the girl. They hung out, did their thing, came back up. So they in the room celebrating, getting each other down. So, yeah, they about to get ready to go to bed. When the younger brother, John, he said, me want some. They said, no, 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 no. Cause he was loud. He said, no, no, me. They said, calm down. He said, I no need to no step the stair. And I act like I'm the cat. Kevin looked at Mike. Mike said, man, let him get some, man. You come right back, John. You understand? You you come back now. He said, okay. So he walked, went down the basement. He wasn't skipping no stair. He was just walking down. He stepped on the stair and squeaked. <laughs> John paused. The old man came, kicked the door open. He said, who down there? I know it's one of you boys right now. Who down there? John said, it's me, the cat.